stunning picture unfolding in front of us. Another spectacular sunrise here at Eco Training Pridelands. That's what I love about this time. Now, as the days are getting slightly shorter, the sun is rising a little later, just in time for us to catch it and experience it. And it just brings promise for another amazing live safari adventure out here into the African bush. So one thing, as you all know, I like to do, and for those who've just recently joined the show, early morning is a time for me to find a spot with something to view. But there's also a purpose to that, and that's to listen out. This is the time where lions are still vocalizing, still roaring. It's also a time where leopards are still active, and we are listening out for signs. Not only the animals themselves making noises, but also creatures like impala and kudu that might have seen these predators and they make alarm calls and at the same time enjoy the water roll, the early morning water roll and here we have an African spoonbill quite an extraordinary bird in the sense that its beak the tip of its beak is flattened literally like a spoon And that is to catch small fish and aquatic vertebrates. And one thing about them is when they forage, they drop the bill into the water, as you can see, and they move in this very characteristic zigzag fashion. And that's one of the things that you can use to ID this bird at a distance without even taking your binoculars. If you see a white bird in the water, it could be one of many. But that zigzag foraging pattern is a very characteristic of the African spoonbill. A very common bird out here. Hello everybody, we have a lion in the tree. Yes, tree lion. Three lions. We decided to come and check out Skorko Pan, you know, because that's what we do. To see if maybe we find some animals. Skorko Pan, and well, we found the one lioness. Then two warthogs that this young ma this big male nearly, nearly caught. And then we just noticed this female in the tree. I don't know if she's been there a while, but uh, we hadn't seen her before. Maybe she just came up the tree a moment ago. We'll see how she tentatively climbs down. They are not made for tree climbing. They can go up or right, but coming down is often a little bit tricky. But that female on the left is clearly in estrus because this male is very interested. The breeze is coming from the pan towards her. Hawksocks aren't expecting to look up. <laughs> They've got enough to worry about at ground level. Now these little piglets are trusting mum. Now mum's starting to walk away. This lioness has got to do something. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, she's not quick enough. She's not quick enough. She didn't quite have the skill, but she's going to get one. She's got a little baby, everybody. Oh well, it's definitely a good way to end our sun uh, sunrise safari with uh, this uh, lioness.
But yes, so once again, thank you for joining us on our Sunrise Safari. And thank you so, so much for all our um, comments and for the questions that you've sent through to us today and this morning. It's always nice just to kind of keep us on our toes for the morning. I'm just got a bit of grass in my mouth there. <laughs> And yes, please make sure that you stay tuned straight after our sun rise safari. We will go escape to nature and continue with some amazing animal animal scenes. Oh, there now we can see she is moving. Uh, she doesn't look, well, maybe a bit of a limp on the front, right? But uh, oh well. But yeah, from the Wild Earth team, thank you so much and have a wonderful day. We will see you this afternoon on our sunset safari.